Yo, what's up guys? It's your boy Humbo here and today I'm going to be going over some tips to help you guys blow up on TikTok in 2020. Guys, I just had a video on TikTok myself hit 2.3 million views, one video alone and now we've amassed over 30,000 followers and I've only been on TikTok for three months. So I really think I'm in a good position to help you guys blow up your Fortnite TikToks, help you guys get those views and also give you some tips on how to convert those views to other platforms. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Make sure you guys drop a like, make sure you guys drop a sub if you're new. It really means the world yes this is my absolute dream so without further ado let's get into the video so guys I would really appreciate if you get a pen and a paper for this because these are just gonna be some really good tips and I'm just gonna go through everything right now encompass all of how to blow up on TikTok, and I really want you guys to be writing these points down because number one first tip when you write a point down it's gonna commit it to your memory much more and the chance of you guys actually following through on that go up way more so grab a pen and paper and focus up because this video could really change the game for your career all right guys so now getting into the very first tip I'm gonna give to you today I would highly recommend you guys respond to every single comment you get on TikTok, no matter your size. Like, if it is at all possible, even if you have a video do really good, going through, responding to all the comments, even criticism, even things that you think are simply just negative, which a lot of them will be, you just respond, you be the bigger person. Guys, when you go out and respond to somebody's comment, you're making an impact on them that like no other TikToker is making, no matter what size you are. You're establishing a second connection with that person. So maybe someone comments, but they forget to follow. Now you've responded to their comment. Now they're going to go back to your profile number one that's going to equal extra clicks to this TikTok. number two if you respond to somebody especially being like uh you know professional or positive or answering a question even that person's chances of following you and then also converting to your youtube to your twitch or any other platform you want them to is going to go up tremendously so guys respond to every comment you're not above it no matter how big you are i'm at thirty thousand followers i responded to like literally a thousand comments till it timed me out yesterday respond to your comments Okay guys, and for my second tip, I would highly recommend that you post twice a day, three if possible. But let's settle with two here because here's the key guys, you can go hard for a day, you can go hard for two days, but most people are gonna burn out, most people are gonna stop putting in the work the second they hit a little bit of a rough patch. So I would recommend finding a pace and a rhythm that you can actually maintain over time. So two posts a day, one post in the morning your time. So like 10 or 11 a.m., whenever you wake up, I would have a post ready. I would also only recommend posting single clips, posting montages on TikTok, unless it's specifically a trend like Gooba, for example, I would highly recommend posting single clips, okay, that follow some sort of a trend. Posting montages doesn't really help your case for TikTok. Posting one very good eye-catching clip is probably going to be the move on TikTok. Um, if you're doing a long form video, the odds of people actually watching that whole like, you know, 40 to 50 seconds through is very low. So I would post once in the morning, single clip, right? A maintenance clip. It's easy. Two singles, okay? You're not having to get montages together for TikTok, which would hurt your consistency. It's a quick platform. You guys obviously are on it. You literally all you're doing here is watching a video, you're scrolling. Watch a video, you're scrolling. Like it's fast. So you don't want something that's going to sit there and like bog the person up too much. Single clip, quick hitting clip, and then you move on. Boom, you post it in the morning. Another time you're going to want to post in the afternoon every day. So I would recommend your time probably 10 to 11 a.m. in the morning and then post again around 6, 7, 8 p.m. at night. Two posts every single day. That's 14 posts a week. If you're feeling ballsy, you can go with three posts, but I would recommend for like staying consistent, you know, staying longevity, two posts every single day. Okay, guys, and tip number three, and this is a big one and it's, it's really simple and it's really overlooked. You guys need to be able to have some self-awareness about how good are you actually. TikTok is incredibly competitive, just like every other social media platform. And if you're not honestly looking at yourself and saying, am I a good enough player? Am I somebody that people want to watch? Am I someone people want to learn from? You're losing. You're behind, guys. You got to really keep it 100 with yourself. If you say, okay, I'm not a good enough player yet, and that's why I'm not getting the views. That's so important to be able to say that and go put in some work on Fortnite. Get better if you're a competitive player, if you're posting creative, whatever it is, you got to be really good at it. You got to be somebody that the majority of people enjoy watching, okay? You've got to be able to push through that. You got to be honest with yourself. I believe you're here right now. So what's addicting about it? There's trends for the boys. You got the freaking ethos, post to post to post and everybody, everyone has their own click on TikTok and you've got to find a way to make your Fortnite content fit into those trends. Like, so for example, recently, and you can go check out my page to see this, uh, I took advantage of a trend that girls were doing. I used the sound, it's a Megan Stallion song. And I said, yo, can the boys help me get to the top of this tag? Wouldn't that be funny if this Fortnite clip got there? That's taking advantage of a trend that's currently happening on TikTok, hybriding it in with my own gameplay. It's a creative way to get your point across and it's something that's gonna appeal to a much wider audience and also fit TikTok specifically. So that video got 2.3 million views and that just happened, which is sick. Uh, it gave me a really good idea using trends, using specific songs. 
It's not just about posting your clip and expecting it to blow up. It's highly competitive, guys. The person who tailors their clips the best to the market, like on that social media platform, is gonna win 10 times out of 10. So guys, really take the time, think about that. Now, every post, you don't have to go follow a trend. You don't have to be so specific. So I like to look at it like this. Remember, we said two posts today, right? So here we go. Here's a here's a here's the doctor's regimen. You ready? Post every 48 hours, okay? So 48 hours, which is two days, you should have four clips posted, okay? Three of those clips, remember one in the morning and one in the afternoon, one in the morning, one in the afternoon, four clips. Of those four clips in that 48 hours, three of them should be what I call a maintenance post. It shouldn't be following a trend because you don't have time. You know, you're busy with other stuff. Three of your posts should just be, you know, tag a friend you would clip and then you post, boom, it's a single. Those are maintenance videos. They're gonna establish a base mark for how many like likes and views you're gonna be getting per video. It gives you an idea of like tracking how active your TikTok is and it keeps your viewers interested. Let me back up to you. So, also, boom, you're posting those three maintenances. Now, every 48 hours, you're throwing in one clip that is not a maintenance. It's a, it's a, it's a moonshot. You're trying to make the video go viral. You're trying something new. It might flop worse than your regular videos, or it might do really good compared to regular videos. So you don't know. It's a, it's a trial and error video, one in every four videos. Okay, guys, the last kind of tip that I'm gonna go over here for the next couple minutes is gonna be a combination of a few things. Basically, it's gonna be the aesthetic of your video plus the caption. So I'm gonna go over both right now with you. So number one, guys, you're gonna notice on TikTok a lot of videos are going to be uh, that you're gonna find blowing up are gonna be videos that look really pretty. The render settings are great. The world's very pretty. Um, the R's and B levels are great. You know, it really comes down to how eye-catching is this video. People are scrolling so fast. Okay, TikTok is a very short attention span platform, and the longer you get people to watch your video is basically how it decides it's gonna push your video out and recommend it to more people. The quality of your video, how clean the world's coming up, how satisfying it looks. All those things are gonna play into those first few seconds to make this person decide if they're gonna stay on your video and keep watching your video. Also, like the skill level of the clip matters like we were talking about earlier. So you gotta be honest with yourself about these things. You have to watch videos. You have to learn how to make videos that are very presentable. They're gonna make people wanna keep watching your videos instead of scrolling to the next video. It's very simple. So that's really important. Part two of this is going to be the captions. So like I said for those maintenance videos, guys, at a friend that uh, you would destroy in a 1v1. People are gonna be adding people, it's bringing new people on your page, blah, blah, blah. PC is overpowered, Xbox or PS4, posing questions that are gonna make people stay on your video longer, give them something to think about and engage with, and then go respond to their comment like we talked about earlier. You're keeping this person on your TikTok really long. It's very important. You're putting this person through a question, you're putting them through a nice clip, you're making, you're responding to the, the question or the answer they had to that question. Think about how much engagement you're getting as opposed to the regular person that's setting you apart here. Okay guys, the last thing that I'm gonna go over, and it is really so important that you guys understand this. It doesn't matter if you're getting 10 views a video, it doesn't matter if you're getting 20 views a video, whatever, it doesn't matter how dead your views are, it doesn't matter how discouraged you are, all it takes, especially on TikTok, and this is why it's a good platform, it really just takes one video, and it's pretty easy to get that one video to go off. You can have 200 followers on TikTok, and just have one video pop. Like, it's very possible. It's, it's not like that on Instagram. It's not like that on Twitter. It's not like that on other social medias. TikTok is very explosive. If you keep putting out solid content and you stay consistent, you can blow up at any time. You need to stay focused. You need to stay consistent no matter how upset you're getting, no matter how much you feel like the, you know, the world's against you, whatever. You have to stay on your grind because at any time that video can blow up and if you're not there grinding, it's definitely not going to. So you've got to stay focused. You've got to stay on your grind. You've got to stay mentally sound. You cannot let views get to you. You can't let metrics get to you. You've got to stay working. So guys, with that, I'm going to wrap up this video. If you guys want a part two to this video, make sure you smash that like button, drop a sub, comment telling me that you enjoyed this, you got some value from this, and I deadass, I will make a part two to this video because I got plenty more tips in me. I just want to wrap this up right now. So I love you guys. I appreciate you. It's been humble. It's been easy. I'll see y'all. Have a great freaking day. Good luck with your TikToks, fam.